Hey everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime. And here's the thing. When I'm looking to create videos, I'm always looking at a number of factors, right? I'm looking at what's interesting to you. What would be interesting to me? What's something I want to discuss about? And what's something that at least has a tangible idea of truth to it? Now, one of our stories today is literally news. It broke this morning. You guys might know what it is. It has to do with Pokemon. And we'll talk about that. Obviously, we've got to get a little dose of reality because without reality, I'm going to go insane. But we also have these rumors that have just been permeating over the last week that I have refused to cover for one reason or another. But today, oh today, we're going to cover them for posterity's sake or maybe just out of morbid curiosity or I don't know, maybe because I want to bring the tinfoil hat back. I have no idea. We got multiple games supposedly coming, big ones coming to Nintendo at some point in the future. We have a doggo down here because he wanted to come in and say hi. And a brand new rumor on a Switch system. I, what? A new hardware coming? I'm. What is happening today? It's August 1st. Why are we getting started with a bang? I don't know. Editor, roll that intro. Now, before I uh, dive into the news, quick, I want to remind you, we are giving away this thing right here. You see this? This is a uh, broken down Game Boy, of course. Here, you got Tetris in the background. Uh, I got this one's mine, but I have another one already packed up over here to give away. You can enter to win it down in the pinned comment or in the description. And we're adding new ways to enter every day. In fact, uh, every single day in August, I'm going to be having a different code every day that you have to listen throughout the video to find that code to enter to get a additional 20 entries per day so good luck and today's cut no just kidding let's get into the first story so i mentioned pokemon news and that's because a pokemon presents was announced this morning i'm sure you've heard of the news already if you haven't here you go here's the details it's on august 3rd so two days away thanks for the two-day warning uh it's happening at 8 a.m central time so 6 a.m pacific 9 a.m eastern and is going to feature news on pokemon apps and games including scarlet and violet not really too surprising we already were expecting pokemon news on the 15th from a certain magazine in japan so getting news now well I mean, just kind of sort of made sense I know people are going to get that ball rolling, right? Oh, man, we usually get a Pokemon Presents, and then we get a Nintendo Direct. We usually get an Indie World, then we get a Nintendo... Look, Nintendo is a creature of habit, but also a creature of just doing random stuff. Pokemon Company does whatever the hell it wants. I don't think this suddenly means we're getting a Nintendo Direct in August, but maybe we will. But for right now, we're talking about Pokemon. Really excited. You know we'll be live streaming that event right now here so tune in it's going to be a blast next up we have our first batch of rumors we have three different rumors we're going to go over today and hold on i'm not in the right attire yes so much better so this first rumor is actually about a brand new Star Fox game now this comes from zippo now zippo has a reputation of getting some things right years ago it's actually been quite a while since he's had anything right and i am of mind that i think he just makes it up but since i don't have any definitive evidence that he actually makes it up and there aren't really other leakers decrying him like emily rogers doesn't say anything like nobody's really saying that zippo is fake other than just my own observations so let's cover this because i just want it to happen anyways all right so let's dive right into what the actual news is so this new Star Fox game will be made by an outside studio with close supervision of Nintendo. It's apparently towing the line between a reboot and successor. It'll have some sort of online multiplayer component. The new Star Fox animated series is in the works at Nintendo's new animation studio as well, Nintendo Pictures. And don't expect to actually hear about it for a while, which is weird when you say it's been in the works for a while, but don't expect to hear about it for a while. I don't know. Maybe because they want to time it with the release of animated. Maybe this is going to be for their next platform. I don't know. Now, I would love to have a brand new Star Fox game. Who wouldn't? Star Fox is great, and I don't think Zero was a good representation of leaving the game in the right place. Now, he notes he doesn't know who the studio is, but for some, some reason knows it's not Platinum. I... Look, how do you not know who the studio is, but then know that it's not a certain studio? Beats me. He always acts like his sources are from inside Nintendo. Very few people have real sources inside Nintendo. In fact, if this game leaked, 
I feel like it would be more likely to leak from the outside studio, but hey, you know what? That's what he had to say about this, but you know what? That's not the only game he talked about. So next up is another game, another big one, another one a lot of us want to see return, and we were hoping maybe HAL Laboratories or Sakurai was working on this. We're talking about Kid Icarus Uprising. So Zippo also put out there that Kid Icarus Uprising Remastered is in the works and is being worked on by Bandai Namco. Now, what's interesting about Bandai Namco working on this game is while they are putting in the effort and doing all the work and it's going to keep the multiplayer and they're going to make the control scheme more intuitive and user-friendly, one thing they note is that the online multiplayer runs on Bandai Namco's netcode, which is infamously not good. Super Smash Bros., Ultimate also uses an Echo Tekken 7, basically a lot of fighting games, and those fighting games have really bad netcodes, so whether or not that matters for games that aren't fighting games, I don't know, but that is something that he notes. Again, this all comes from Zippo, and, and I'll link to his stuff, and, and you guys can go check the sources yourself. I, look, it, it is what it is. I'm not really sure about this, but I want Kid Icarus Uprising back. I want a new Kid Icarus in general. I, I just want, I want Nintendo to bring back IPs. I want my F-Zero. I want my... 1080 snowboarding, my snowboard kids. Like, there's so many IPs I want Nintendo to bring back. Wave Race. Like, that. hey, whatever. You know, Star Fox and Kid Icarus are nice, but you know what's even nicer? How about a rumor about a brand new Nintendo Switch platform? All right, so uh, we got to switch the hat up a little bit here because I'm not, I don't, I, why, why am I talking about this? I, I kind of feel like others who have talked about this a little bit where it's like, why? This is, th this is weird. Look, we talk about rumors from 4chan sporadically right not all the time there, there's oh gosh last time i checked there are over a dozen new rumors related to nintendo let alone the entire game industry there's, there's like 50 of them related to the game industry but like a dozen of them daily for nintendo switch so for people who think man nate you always cover this 4chan stuff all the damn time not really <laughs> not really uh, i could do nothing but make videos on 4chan rumors but why are we talking about this one? Well, not only because it's related to new Switch hardware, but because of the strangeness of what that hardware is and just the peculiarity of the fact that it's such a well-constructed post. And look, this was brought to my attention how well-constructed it was actually by RGT87, so credit to him over the weekend. I, I, I fully watched his video on this, and I kind of agree uh, in covering 4chan rumors in the past that this one is oddly well constructed by someone who looks like they actually care. Uh, I don't know. Like when people always dismiss 4chan, oh, I don't believe 4chan. Hey, 4chan fully leaked the Nintendo Switch presentation. Uh, they also have fully leaked multiple Nintendo Directs. And the whole reason that can happen is you can literally be an employee at Nintendo and post on 4chan and no one would be able to trace it back to you as long as you weren't stupid and left indicators of who you are. So, yeah, it's all anonymous, it's untraceable, and that's what makes 4chan still matter to this day, and it also makes it a great platform for legitimate leaks. It also makes it a great platform for people to just make things up and just see if it runs wild on the internet. So, maybe this is one of those cases, but also what this system is sounds dumb, but Nintendo does dumb things. Game Boy Micro, anybody? Uh, I don't know, Virtual Boy? Nintendo just makes dumbass decisions at times. So what are we talking about? Well, yes, a brand new Switch platform called the Switch Lite 5G. I, sh I, I shit you not, Switch Lite 5G. Here's the 4chan post. So it is gonna support 5G and 4G LTE. It's gonna be using Qualcomm's Snapdragon X55 5G modem, which I believe came out in 2019. So it kind of checks the box for being a little bit older tech that's probably cheaper to get your hands on. I mean, I would like to see them improve the Wi-Fi chip, but, you know, whatever. Uh, 10 to 20% bigger screen than the current light, which, I mean, I guess you just cut out the bezel. You don't really have to even make a new chassis. You just cut out the bezel. Uh, next up, it's supposed to release in spring of 2023 at $249. So you're paying an extra 50 bucks for the privilege of paying a subscription to access the Internet. That's that's always interesting. And apparently they have partnered with AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile 
locally here in North America. Uh, and the data plans will be discounted and data plans for those with Nintendo Switch online. So like basically you can get a data plan through those carriers. You don't have to be part of those carriers. Or if you are with those carriers, you can get a discount on that data plan if you're also in a Nintendo Switch online member. Now they do note carriers and, and, and stuff like this in other territories, like Australia, UK, Japan, etc. So it's a very well put together with proper punctuation. Um, a lot of you know research and actual knowledge in there. You know, not a lot of people. If this is just someone in the United States making up some sort of rumor, uh, you know, it, you I don't know off the top of my head. I can tell you right now, if this was me, I don't know off the top of my head who the carriers and providers for this sort of service is in Japan, Australia, and the UK. But I actually googled the stuff that this person put in the post, and it turns out it's accurate. So this person either knew it or was at least able to use Google to figure it out. I'm not saying it's complicated. I'm not saying it's impossible to put together this post, but I am saying that if it's made up, it's made up by somebody who actually put a little time and research into it, which is Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So, look, I think this is a dumbass system that no one should buy. I think it's stupid. I think we, we have Wi-Fi in enough places that that's what you should be using instead. Cell phone signals aren't the best for online gameplay anyways. I guess maybe you want to download a game, but then why do you want to use a data plan for that? I, look, I think this is stupid. I think this is the stupidest. I thought it was stupid when the Vita did it. Remember when the Vita had 4G? Somewhere? Like It was stupid. Absolutely, utterly stupid. And then to charge $50 more, again, stupid. Just update the current switch light and put a chip in it and let people do it. I, it's stupid. Nothing about this system's good. This system's going to tank harder than the final episode of season eight of Game of Thrones. I mean, that's how bad this is. It is dumb. It is stupid. It shouldn't exist. And here's the problem. Nintendo does dumb and stupid things. And so they kind of sort of, look, you said this like, oh, Microsoft is going to release a handle. That already sounds stupid. Oh, but it's going to be, you know, compatible with cell phones. And oh, it's going to have dual screens. And it's going to, like, that sounds stupid. No one would believe it if they said something so stupid about a Microsoft future platform. But because this is Nintendo, we can't just like, oh yeah, they will never do that. They'll never. <laughs> they wouldn't do that. Or would they? And the thing is, people just buy it. They gobble it up. Of course, Game Boy Micro flopped so hard it didn't. Virtual Boy flopped so hard it didn't. But I mean, you just look at all the different systems. We had the, the new 2DS, that little wedge. And then you had the, the, the 2DS. Um, just this, the, the, like the 2DS normal or whatever, the, the clamshell one. And then they had the, I think they called the 2DS LL. And then they had the new 2DS LL, you know, which is just the 3DS. And 3, and, uh, this is stupid. It's stupid. I can't imagine this platform existing. Except. This is Nintendo. <laughs> so. Look, it's a 4chan rumor. It's probably not true. None of these rumors we talked about today are probably true, but they're out there. People are talking about them. They're getting attention, and I don't know. I can't verify and deny any of it. So there are my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. I will say this. At least the game rumors are interesting, right? It's fun to dream about another Star Fox game. It's fun to dream about Kid Icarus Uprising comeback. It's fun to dream. So those are enjoyable, digestible, and at least give you something tangible to maybe desire down the line. You know, it's just like if we started talking about Pikmin 4 again, right? Like something to desire down the line. This isn't something I think any of us actually want. Now, maybe I'm wrong, and maybe some of you guys actually do want a Switch Lite 5G. Maybe it is, uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm misreading the room entirely, and I'm the one that's got a problem, and then this tinfoil hat should get... Tossed in the garbage. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this. I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.